Hey folks, Predatory Lender here. Um, I just want to give a quick little example of why I don't think you should be trading the die and you should be trading the spy. Um, it was widely expected that the Dow would hit all-time highs this week, so I was trading the DIA instead of the SPY, which I normally do. Now, if you look right here, you can see uh, total op open interest in the contract is 70, and uh, volume is 40. Well, also over here, you can see that I have 50 of them, and I created a spread of 50. Well. This entire open interest of 70 contracts was me, which is essentially, let's see, 70 times 475, 475. No, a $30,000 position. So, I mean, if the entire open interest in a contract is only $30,000, it doesn't make sense for you, for anyone to be trading this position. When you look, on the other hand, the SPY, For a deep in the money contract. Of course, these are weekly expirations that expire uh, today. You have 400 your open interest of 8.2 times 433. See, the open interest here is over 350,000. You know, so it makes much more sense to trade something a lot more liquid instead of something that. You know, one person can control the entire market, which I was this week with the guy. And also, you can see the much tighter spreads. The spreads here are 26 cents for the spy and something like 35 cents for the guy. So, if you're going to be trading the general market, even though you know you think the die is a good thing to get into. Just realize if you do, you're going to be the only one there. I found that out. I had a good week this week um, of about 13%. So um, just want to warn you guys about trading in illiquid markets. It makes things kind of a little tough. So again, this is the Predatory Lender. Check out my funny YouTube videos. And uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.